Hello, I'm Hollis from Hollis's IC Lab, and today I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm back with part two of making an SR71 from scratch. And in the vo last video of this, I did not do a voiceover, unfortunately. I'm sorry about that. With editing it and trying to get it up in time, because I try post every day at that time, I didn't have enough time. And then sorry, post stop posting every day. I was having some trouble with my racing drone. And that camera that I had, so I've got it fixed, everything fixed now, so I'm back with part two, so I hope you enjoy. So now I'm just working on putting in the hatch so I can access the battery compartment, and as you can also probably see, I built a higher camera mount, so now you can see the whole plane. And I'm working on cutting that other hatch because I had accidentally glued it. I later do end up rebuilding both well, that hatch, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I rebuilt that hatch later in this video. And this is the final video of building this, except if I paint it later. And there'll also be a flight video, or attempted flight video, hopefully it will fly. So I'm just working on gluing on some op more um, cardstock as covering over the framework that I built a foam board. And then just use the exacto knife to trim it down. And I'm just using some duct tape to hold that hatch in place. I know it doesn't look the nicest. But hopefully I'll be able to paint this and make it look really nice later. So I'm just putting on some more cardstock. And now I'm just working on the motor mount thing that will hold the motor power pod in place. Right now I'm just using duct tape, but later I will do something more permanent. I'm working on, like, drawing out of the fin things now. Now I'm just working on making the cover for the back area. And then just gluing that in place and measuring both, well actually not gluing in place, measuring both sides, making sure, and then gluing that in place. And I'm just cutting out the other vertical stabilizer. And then gluing them in place at a slight angle because on the pictures they look at angle, so I just thought that's how they were. I hope that's how they were. I should probably look into it more. So now I'm just working on making the canopy. I'll go on the front. I later do take this out and redo this, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. Yep, and then I am now pulling it out. <laughs> I thought I was finished there, but then I just decided that I wasn't quite happy with the way it looked, so. I just redid parts of it, so. And, okay. And I'm just gluing the fins on better. Then I'm working on making the um cone things for the ends of the thing of the um engine things. I for, you know what they're called, but I forget. So sorry about that. So I'm just kind of zangling those in place. Now I'm getting um. Paper and then I'm okay. No, I'm actually putting duct tape on right now. Just need to open that hatch to make sure I didn't glue them. And then I'm putting a piece. I'll put Velcro on so I can Velcro the battery into place and adjust it so I can just change the way the CG is oh. and where it balances and stuff. And 
So then I'm just cutting out a little area so it will fit in there nicely in the middle. And then I'm just gluing that in place. Now I'm putting some Velcro on it. So now I can adjust the battery in there. Now I'm taking off the tuck tape that I put thing and just testing putting the battery in place. And I think I'm testing it. As you can also see I took off the propeller. I had to cut that down a little bit because the battery is just like that. So now I'm just curling paper so it will fit into a nice cone shape. And I'm cutting it down till it fits nicely. And then gluing it in place. And then doing the same for the other side. So I'm just making another cone for the other side right now. I messed up the first one so I had to do it again. So I'm just doing that right now. I'm sorry, even with my bigger camera mount, I just do some stuff off camera and really need to work on that. That's a big problem with my videos. I just seem to do a lot of my work off camera. Well, not off camera, but on when I'm recording, but just holding it below the... So now I've made the cone for the other side. I'm just working, trimming it down, and making sure it matches the other side. And then gluing it in place. So there you can see those are done. Now I'm working on taking off this paper because I decided to make a better thing and I'm using foam board for that. So I peeled off the paper and I'm trimming it down so it'll fit nice and flush with the foam, with the paper on each side. Now I'm just working on doing where the servers will go. Then kind of slip for the middle. And test fitting that. Then I'm just trimming it down. Then I just glue that in place. I think I trim off the seven. Not one hundred. Yeah, I think I trim off the back portion and do a different... No, I don't actually. That works. Okay, that's on the bottom, I think. So now I'm just working to make a new canopy and working to make it better. I think this is the final canopy I make. So then I just glue that in place. And I'm working on the bottom. I think I redo that battery hatch, or the hatch that has like all that duct tape on it. But right now I'm just working on building the other side of the motor mount. And I'm doing, okay, I'm working on doing something that I don't know exactly what. I'll put Velcro to it in place rather than duct tape. So I just took that off, right? just peeled off all the paper, and I'm going to do a foam board with over here too, because I liked how it looked on the top. So I'm using some paper to take measurements. I, I'll just cut it. And just do it, cutting it out.
and I'm cutting it out off camera. And we again like getting all the places for the we need to cut trim it down. And so we, uh, trim places places half it so that it'll fit flush. So then I just did a motion test fitting that. And then cutting the hatch out of it. And then gluing it in place. Now I'm cutting some little skinny piece of foam, but I'm pretty sure they'll go on either side of that because I didn't quite do it long enough for some reason. I don't know, maybe the foam was, was slightly different than the paper. Probably be that. So then I'm just gluing those in place. And then trimming them down a little bit more. And then gluing those in place. And then I'm working on the final piece of the motor mount, which will have like a hatch so I can get the mode power part out of there. And I'm trimming that down a little bit more. And I'm working on the final cuff of the motor mount, as I already said. And because I'm putting Velcro in, I think. Just making sure that the Velcro stays stuck to it now. Okay, now I'm just putting Velcro in play. And now finally I'm working on the motor cover hatch thing. So I'm just trimming that down. Then I'm cutting out like the half thing. So I'll be able to open and take the motor out. And then just put, using duct tape for this. Because it's, it would be more difficult to use Velcro. So I'm now just adjusting stuff, I think. Don't know exactly what I'm doing. I'm doing something, obviously, but... Oh no, I'm making the, um... Things that go around the back pieces. As you can see right there. So I'm just cutting those and then gluing them in place. And then doing the same for the other side. And then putting the motor, motor and stuff and propeller on and then testing to make sure it's going the right way. Putting the battery in place. So, I think this is about all with, for this video. I'll be doing the flight video really soon with the test flight video, hopefully flight video, and make sure you subscribe if you liked and like the video, so that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed, bye.